Hi, this is Tina Chandler, and um, it's been about five days since the Tampa Pro Show where I placed third and also qualified for the Olympia. And today we are filming um, my chest and bicep workout. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and start off by explaining a little bit about my, my technique on chest. It seems to have really helped a lot, everyone that I've introduced it to as far as bringing their bench press up. Um, helping some of the other trainers at the gym and anybody I've helped with this. The main technique I've used is, um, is an open palm grip. As you can see on, my, on, my, on the dumbbells, I have my thumbs underneath the dumbbells. I find that this rotates the shoulders away from the chest and opens, up in, opens the pec muscles. Most people that have an over grip on the, on, the, uh, on the chest movements tend to rotate their shoulders forward and, it, and what that does is it, it creates an impingement in the shoulder joint and actually takes away from the pec muscles. Um, by doing this, I have helped um, increase my bench press. I think last year I was doing about 285, a little bit more than that. I haven't really done any barbell bench press this year. I've, stri I've, I've, uh, I've stayed mostly with dumbbells, and it seems to have, have increased my growth um, a little bit. I, I like to isolate a little bit more with the dumbbells. I've had some success. I don't know, this, this next year I might alternate a little bit with barbell and dumbbell, but right now I'm enjoying the dumbbells. Um, as you can see later on in the workout, I do a little bit of alternating work as well. On the incline dumbbell, um, since this is the first week back from my show, I'm only using 80 pound dumbbells, but I was up to 95s about two weeks before the show and, and continued to lift heavy all the way up. I think today I was just a little, a little tired and a little... Uh, I don't know, probably just not as strong as I thought I would be. I warmed up with about 100 push-ups. Um, I usually warm up pretty good before most exercises that I'm going to lift heavy on. And I went into a, a core movement, the uh, leg lifts, just to keep the intensity up. Okay. Um, as far as my goals from here to the Olympia, <laughs> uh, really to sharpen my package and to bring in some abs. I plan on developing a six pack really quickly to to bring to complete my package with my physique and just to sharpen up my lines, come in a little bit harder. Um, basically try to get as big as I can, shoulders and hamstrings, sharpen up the glutes and definitely bring the, the uh, abs in. Those are my main goals and just to tell the judges you will see the difference. I will work hard at it. <clears throat> okay, after the incline dumbbell, I went into an alternating dumbbell decline. And as you can see, you like, I like to isolate each peck at a time by doing that. From there, I went to a cable crossover into a high chopper. And, and that's why I like to stick to the dumbbells, because each peck has to work independently. And when you, when you do barbell, one side's going to work harder than the other. And um, this way, at least you, you, you ensure that you get even pump on each. And the main thing with bodybuilding is you want symmetry. You know, equal left and right, equal up and down. And I think that, that really adds to the dimension of the muscle. Here I was doing the cable crossovers and again think, talking about symmetry, um, I was doing about 16 reps and about halfway through I would switch my legs so that it makes you, your body shifts even with your leg placement. Everything from the bottom up, from the floor up counts. So as I got to about seven or eight, I would switch my feet and uh, continue to the rest of the, the rest of the set. On the isolation movement on the cable crossover, I like to try to squeeze at the contracting point. And then after that, I had the uh, high cable choppers. This is just the core movement that really helps slim the waist, pulls in a little bit of the lower lats, obliques, and just adds some intensity to the fat burning. My uh, on, my, on the road to the Olympia, I plan on keeping keeping a lot of the things the same. My workouts are going to be just as intense. Um, most of the things are going to be, I might diet a little bit harder. Um, the way I went into this show was, I don't know, it, was, it wasn't it was that that hard. I could probably diet a little bit harder and get my skin a little bit thinner. I think that's the main thing that we're going to do. Um, not, not too many drastic changes as far as that's concerned. Just make sure I come in right. Cause I was pretty shredded going in. I just think we have to fine tune it a little bit. One of the things I will mention is um, some of the some of the supplements that I 
and that I use before pre and post workout. Um, pre workout, I like to to um, you know get a good nitric oxide um, supplement for a little bit of energy and a little bit of pump. And and post workout, I use a whey isolate and either waxy maize or, or vitara or, or carbohydrate mix so that um, your body facilitates it a lot quicker for recovery. And later, I guess, uh, when I get into the bicep workout, um, you know, you'll see there's, there's quite a bit of vascularity. And by that time, you'll see that there's just such a great pump that I just get such a good workout. You make the most of your workout and your pump. And that's the main thing is, is to squeeze and, and harden up your muscles. You can't just go through the motions. You gotta train like you mean it. Hopefully before too long, I will have some of these videos posted up on my website, www.tinachandler.com. And um, I'm working on a few other projects. One is a cookbook that I've recently started putting together. That will be coming out sooner than any of my other projects. So, so keep a lookout for that. It's gonna be pretty interesting. I think that some of the things that I've come up with um, Actually, on, on, a, on my way to the Tampa show, or some of these great ideas, I've enjoyed my food so much that, that I decided I need to share it with everyone else. It's really made it a lot easier and a lot more fun to diet and to enjoy clean eating. I think that's very important. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, the Tampa show that I just came from was, was really exciting. It was my second pro show, and um, I really enjoy competing with with the other competitors is the only time those of us get to be around each other when we go back home there's no one else there like us so we, we enjoy the camaraderie um, it was a good it was a great experience and placing third is 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 more than satisfactory for me I always want to place better than that I'm always trying to be the best of the best and anyway um, I was very pleased with that and, and here I am going to the Olympia one of the things that that the uh, judges told us to do is to, to wait to the end of the show to, to get our checks redeemed. So we all had kind of long faces about that because we wanted to go have dinner. But what happened was after the show, I went to the, to the judges' table and, and did the paperwork. And after that, the most flattering thing of the whole weekend came, um, came to me. Diana Cadeau um, just walked right up to me and grabbed my hand and expressed to me how much she just loved my physique, and I mean, my jaw just about dropped to the floor. I was so flattered. It made my whole weekend. It made everything worth it, and, you know, just because of that, I was walking on cloud nine. You know, it made my whole weekend, so I really appreciated that and, and, and felt the love and support from everyone, so I just want to thank everyone for, for being there for me, sending your prayers and love, and thanking everyone at Houston Gym, my coach, Johnny West, my chiropractor, Jackie Duvall and all the members and friends that have been there for me. I really appreciate it. So when I got into the biceps, I started off with alternating bicep curls. Um, I've had a bit of a, of a pull on my right bicep tendon, so I've had to be real careful on my form and real strict. So I'm not, I'm not using rotation on my curls, I'm keeping it palm up. My brachioradialis is a little tender, so I'm, I'm keeping it real strict. Um, I guess you can see the vascularity coming out there. Got a, got a good pump going on it, um, from there. From there, I did barbell rollouts, which simulates using the uh, ab wheel. You know, I prefer to go on my toes. It, it seems to add a little bit more intensity. And, and core training has been a big part of my workouts, but um, apparently I need to put a little bit more in there to get my abs to come out. It's one of those genetic things that just doesn't come to me naturally. I just have to work on it a little bit harder. Hopefully some of this will help.